Hello and welcome to Insta Blogs Global Report. This is Sukhma News Fresh Update and more citizen voices from all over the world. Stories for the day are Pakistan announces financial budget for the year 2009-10. Gunmen killed priests and two seminarians in Mexico. Iraq holds state funeral for MP Harith al Obedi shot dead in outside Baghdad Mosque. And Thai labor rises sharply in Kenya. The federal government of Pakistan has announced the country's budget for the year 2009-2010. State Minister for Finance and Economic Affairs, Ms. Hina Rabani Khar, presented the budget in the National Assembly, calling it the one with a human face. Sija Karim Khan from Pakistan expresses general disappointment over the budget implications for the majority of the country's population. This is Karim Khan, citizen journalist on Insta Blogs from Pakistan. For the salaries class, daily wagers and pensioners, the new budget was just another disappointment. Government employees and pensioners got a 15% increase in their salaries and pensions, while no relief was announced for daily wagers. However, the salaries of security forces have been doubled, which has disturbed the layman with feelings of deprivation. The rising prices, especially of food items, has been a worrisome experience of the masses, and some independent sources report the ratio of poverty in the country to have gone up by as much as 30% over the past year. The only happy aspect of the budget seems to be an announcement of 50 billion rupees for helping the internally displaced peoples or IDPs of the country's war-torn areas like Swat, Bonir, and Deer districts. Still, the esteemed news sources of the country are regarding this budget as a budget without a human face. A priest and two seminarians were shot dead in the drug plague region of west of Mexico as they drove to the town of Arcelia in Guerrero State to organize a spiritual retreat. Our TJ from Mexico has more on the incident. On Monday, gunmen ordered a priest and two seminarians out of their vehicle and shot them dead in a drug-plagued region of western Mexico. The three were killed as they drove through the town of Arcelia in Guerrero State to organize a spiritual retreat. Police said no arrests have been made at the moment and no motive has been determined for the killing, which took place Saturday, June 13th. Roman Catholic clergy in Mexico have complained that they are increasingly the targets of attacks and extortion demands as Mexico continues to wrestle with waves of drug cartel-fueled violence. Iraq has held its first state funeral since the U.S. led invasion in 2003 for Harith al-Ubaidi, the murdered Sunni Muslim leader. Al-Ubaidi, the head of the biggest Sunni bloc in parliament and a leading human rights advocate, was shot dead at a mosque in Western Baghdad after Friday prayers last week. Today, Wad Abu Zarek is more on the story from neighboring Jordan. This is Wad Abu Zarek. Reporting for the Insta blogs from Jordan. On Friday the 12th of June and after Friday prayers, Harith al Ubaidi, head of the biggest Sunni bloc in parliament, who is also a leading human rights advocate, was shot dead in a mosque in West Baghdad. Ubaidi's funeral was held on Saturday the 13th of June to be the first form of state funeral held by the government since the American invasion of Iraq. Ubaidi was known to facilitate peace among Sunnites as well as other groups which now triggers fears that peace among those groups may retreat with the newly raised suspicions behind his murder, considering all the fingers pointed in different directions, throwing accusations about his murder, which is so far not officially blamed on anyone or any group. Kenya has witnessed a massive increase in child labor in spite of relative success measured by the country's free primary education program. Peter Rosvangui from Kenya blames its poverty and failure of child welfare policy. This is Jose Angoi, a citizen journalist from Kenya, reporting on Instagram. Going by the comments at a recent international labor organization forum in Nairobi, currently of 1 million children out of school, and it gets worse as 800,000 of these are classified as child laborers. Because of their age and financial disadvantage, they are vulnerable to exploitation and often working in harsh conditions. This robs them their childhood. We could blame poverty and irresponsible parents and guardians, but generally, all the guilt goes to pay of child welfare structures and policies. Floor farms in the country take the toll. The number of children working here rise on a daily basis. If you want your voice to be heard by millions, let InstaBlogs be your choice. You can contact us at pj.instablogs.com. That's all for today's show. We'll be back with fresh updates and more citizen voices. Till then, it's goodbye from the entire team of Global Report.